Hey folks, all right, um, what I'm going to do here is uh, show you my new bike, and uh, it's a 2009 Trek Soho. The reason why I wanted to do a video on it is because um, I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, photos or reviews or videos online for this bike so far, um, but it is kind of unique, so um, if anybody's looking for a you know some some video with with a little bit of detail on this bike hopefully they can they can find this video um, so it's a aluminum frame bicycle um, but what what really makes makes it kind of unique is the drive system the uh, the drive system is a, a belt drive system there's no chain this uh, this belt drive is hooked up to a 8-speed Shimano Nexus internal gear hub. All the gears are, are contained within the uh, rear hub, which is obviously why it looks a little bit different here. It's got this big, this big uh, hub. Um, and it, that, that, that actually makes it pretty convenient as far as shifting gears. Um, there's no derailleur, obviously. Once you put it in gear, it's in gear. There's there's no pedaling to make make the gear shift happen. Um, so you know if you're if you're in a high gear and you come to a stop at a stoplight, you know you can you can just put it in a lower gear, and when you start pedaling, you take off. You're just you're ready to go. Um, and another thing that's kind of unique about this design is the. Uh, the rear hub, the way the way it attaches to the um, the rear triangle of the bike, you'll see the rear triangle has a gap here, and there's a tensioner on here. Um, let me go to the other side here, and this tensioner um, is a little screw that pushes up against the rear hub, um, or wh whatever this is that holds the rear hub. Um, so you put a little hex screw through, or a hex tool through there. It tightens this hex screw and puts tension against it. And the reason why there's a gap here is obviously so that the uh, the belt drive can be mounted. Um, with a with a conventional bicycle with a chain, you would just take one of the uh, links out of the chain, and it, you would just go around the chain stay here. But um, with this, obviously, you can't do that. You can't take a part of a, a belt. The uh, the belt is a uh, I don't know if you can see what it says there. It's a it's a Gates carbon drive belt. Um, all that means is it's just a you know it's a rubber belt. It has a carbon fiber reinforcement to help prevent stretching. Um, and there there have been other belt drive bicycles, but most of those are um, single speed bicycles. Uh, this is really the first one I've seen that has the uh, that they use in conjunction with the uh, internal gear hub. Um, one of the other things that's a little bit different on this bike is it's got a, a roller brake system. The the brake is inside here. Upon first glance, this a lot of people think that this is a, a disc brake system, but there's no uh, there's no calipers. This is just a heat sink out here. Um, the roller brakes grip onto the inside part of this. There's like a little a part in there that that's that's covered up. Um, the rollers grip onto it, and uh, they create a lot of friction. And this, you know, this just uh, helps dissipate some of the heat. Um, we can go over and look at the uh, rear one here. Just mount it a little bit differently, but it's the same thing. Um, other than that, the only other thing that's a little bit different is the. Uh, the top tube it has a rubber bumper on it um, it's just a nice little touch just to help pre prevent uh, scratches on the paint job when you lean it against something hopefully it'll uh, make contact with that rubber bumper um, you know nothing too special there that's it's just a nice little detail um, comes with a uh, stainless steel coffee mug I mo mostly use it for water, but uh, yeah, 
or um, I guess there's not too much else to go into on it. Um, this is just an aftermarket rack. You can put a trunk bag on there. Um, it comes with fenders, which match the paint job. I, I do like the paint job actually. It's a it's a nice color. Um, you don't see too many bikes with fenders these days. This this bike is uh, mainly a commuter bike. It was designed with commu commuters in mind. Um, the the idea was to make it uh, pretty maintenance free. Um, it rides pretty good. Um, gosh, not sure what else to say about it. Um, it, it comes with pretty nice components. They're all mostly a uh, Von Traeger puncture resistant tires, um, you know, aluminum frame. There we go. I'll stick my uh, bag back on there. Excuse me for just a minute. So there it is with the bi the uh, the trunk bag. And, um, yeah, it's it's a pretty nice bike. It's nice and quiet. Um, shifting gears is really easy. And. Uh, one thing that I should point out about the roller brakes is they don't quite provide the uh, the kind of stopping power that a uh, that a disc brake or um, a rim brake would provide. So you kind of have to be careful when you build up a lot of speed. Um, really, that's probably about the only the only thing I would warn against. Um, in most situations though, I mean, unless you're going really fast, they'll provide plenty of stopping power, you know, but if you're going down a big hill or something, you should really watch out with those. Um, but so far it's been a good bike. Um, I use it to commute back and forth to work. And uh, I, I would definitely recommend it for anybody who's, who's looking for something a little different or, um, you know, they just don't want to, to deal with a... Uh, you know, a, a greasy chain or anything like that. It's it's a really good idea for a, a commuter bicycle. And um, I guess that's all.